Uh, Japek, when will you upload Human Companion Warcraft? Uh, someday in the future. I got some questions for you, my friend. I will. Will you ever do old school games on console, physics, Sega Mega Drive, or whatever? I will do these games. I already did a lot of for these games, so just check my channel. I did Another World, and I, I did uh, the, the 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 Quest for Identity flashback. So check them out, and yeah, I definitely will do old school games, console games, but I will emulate them because the equipment is expensive, the setup is expensive, and well, I definitely do this game spot just a minute later. Second, I don't know your professional direction. What is your job or what do you want to be? Well, I have no job, but I started training in uh, media design next year, hopefully. Very free, will you do something besides walkthroughs, guides, tech support, fun stuff or something else? <coughs> well, I, I do what I want. I wrote two Game facts, which were added to gamefacts.com. The first one was a trophy guide for the God of War collection, and the second one was a trophy guide for the uh, Sonic Sega Genesis collection. And tech support, I don't like it to be a support person for someone, because some people you always have to think they are user that users that don't know shit. And I would going crazy to answer someone, someone's questions about things that are so obvious. So no, I'm I'm not going to do tech support. Fun stuff. I did a lot of fun stuff, but no. Uh, my just play series are fun stuff. I think. Well, for add some boobs. Oh shit! It's not a question. Oh man. Look at my The Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall walkthrough. There I made a character, a, a night elf, and she had boobs. She was naked. She was hot. Look at this. Uh, John E.T. Turnbull Gamer. Another long time subscriber. What inspired you to make a Q&A time? Well, a lot of people did a Q&A already. And I think it's a good thing to... to get warm with, with the audience. To to connect audience and uh, the let's player. So I think this uh, creates trust and it creates uh, well you, you are near you're most near to your idol so I like that's the why I do this uh, Q&A session. What is your favorite food? Um, Schweinebraten? Sauerkraut, uh, Sauerbraten? Sauerfleischbraten <laughs> und Wiener Schnitzel. So, this was German. These are my favorite food. Do you like soda? If so, what kind? Oh, I don't drink much soda. All I drink is water, coffee and apple juice. Is there a person in the world you aspire most to be or like? For if so, who? Um, already answered this before. I aspire to be more conscious like uh, Garrett from the Thief series and uh, Sonic Snake. These both characters are always calm before the storm. They never overreact. I'm a very explosive character. I'm an explosive person. So I wish I would be more cool and more more, yeah, more on the ground. So I definitely try to be more like those both guys. What made you decide on a StarCraft and StarCraft 2 Let's Play? Just a short answer, StarCraft 2. That's all. You're mo maybe the most awesome person in the world that I know of. I bet there are some more. Malakaspia asks, who inspired you to start making Let's Plays? Ugh, my voice is gone. I take a little break. Mike Kaspia asked me, who inspired you to start making Let's Plays? Well, let's get back into time. It is 1997. <clears throat> I wanted to create uh, promotion videos for my massive multiplayer online guild. And short after that I started to record by myself 
uh, Command and Conquer because I never find uh, found a uh, Let's Play or a playthrough for that on YouTube, so I started making it. After some time, I found this strange guy. His name was Cloud8745. And to the time, um, the, the term Let's Play wasn't there. It was just called uh, playthrough, playthrough of games with commentary. And this Cloud8745 had a contest in which he uh, had some promotion for someone. And a lot of guys could show how they play games and how they do commentary. So I thought, yeah, this is a nice thing. Uh, I, I like his videos very much and enjoyed it so much. Then I decided, yeah, I will be part of the contest. So I made a contest video. The link to this video can be found in the description as well, which was my really, really first Let's Play video. It was for Resident Evil 1. And so I joined the competition and I didn't won. No, I didn't won. And But it's, it's the first Let's Play video which I make made it, the technique uh, the technique was the technique the tech was very low and I had not much experience with it and the, the audio was lacking behind the, the video source and I had a very shitty computer so the emulation of the game was uh, sucked and so I def I was definitely inspired by Cloud 8745 and he doesn't do any let's plays anymore. He has an uh, own channel, Mr. Iron Runs, and there he does just random stupid videos. And yeah, it was definitely, definitely him who inspired me to make let's plays. And I own him much, even if he always ignored my private messages. But it was obvious. He had so much subscribers and fanatic fans, he must have been spammed with lots of PMs all the time and he never could enter all of them. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that it's not the same with me and I don't get so much private messages and thousands of comments per video. I wish I would be like that, but I, I feel like uh, I would lose control if I would get so much attention by people. I really like it, I really enjoy it, the attention that I got from all of you guys and all you guys which will start watching my videos from now on or whatever. So I hope I will stay myself and I will never be and transform myself into a completely asshole. And yeah, that's my wish for the, for the future. And yeah, it's definitely the Cloud 8745. I, I own him much. Thank you, Cloud, Aaron, for bringing me into the world of Let's Plays. Even if the term Let's Play wasn't created at, in the time as you started to make some. Yeah. And Last Devil Match just is a compliment uh, and Enric asked what's your favorite game for time? I already answered this and I said I have so much different games so and I named a few but if I think a bit more carefully then I there is only one game which I really could tell it's not the favorite game of all time because I have a lot of favorite but it's one of the games that really brought me and made me uh, focus on gaming and this is definitely the, the first Resident Evil game and yeah uh, now I, I become very melancholic right now and, and very very yeah I get uh, a good smooth uh, move right now uh, yeah uh, I don't know yeah definitely Resident Evil and this is the first Q&A session. I hope you liked the answers, and I hope uh, some of you have new qu questions in mind next weekend when I start the second and last uh, Q&A session. 
where people that didn't found this uh, Q&A announcement and they didn't knew I made one now use a chance in the second Q&A session to ask your questions or if you have some new questions then just go and ask them in my second announcement video and for this announcement video I will deactivate all the comments and later erase that video and I hope you had a great time and hope it was not too boring for you guys and I'm looking forward to new questions and you're looking forward to new answers and this is Econ of the Third, A3D and have a great time whatever you do goodbye